Today I'm going to share three home decor DIYs. Stay tuned. guys, it's me, Sharon, and welcome back to Creative Glam. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. And if you're returning, thank you and welcome back. I want to share three home decor DIYs that can be used indoors or outdoors. I've been looking for um, an indoor-outdoor lantern in black. I was about to purchase one and then I realized I can DIY these lanterns myself. So I went to Dollar Tree and Home Depot and picked up all the components that I needed to make two styles of an indoor outdoor lantern and to DIY a small welcome fall sign for outdoors. Let's get started. Make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell. Hit it twice so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Which DIY did you like best? Leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you and I'd also appreciate if you gave me a thumbs up. Now um, let me share a little bit about what I have going on here. There's a lot here. I got the base and the top to my lantern from the Dollar Tree. I thought these were so cute and I thought they would make an awesome top and bottom. That's going to be the bottom and that's going to be the top of the lantern. So these came from Dollar Tree along with what I'm going to use as just like a little medallion on the top to kind of give it some dimension and not structure but to give it some to give it a little more dimension on the top. This also, this disc came from the Dollar Tree. Um, I'm going to remove that rope though. And I should have a knob down here somewhere. This knob is something that I already had. I believe I got this from Target, but I'm not certain. I believe that came from Target and I'm going to use it as the top of my lantern is going to look something like that. Um, I already have my beads, my uh, farmhouse wooden beads. I got these from Amazon, so I'm going to be using these for the feet of my lantern. I couldn't decide whether I wanted to use this round disc on the top. I like the way that looks, but I wasn't sure if I wanted to use this round disc as the top of my lantern or if I wanted to use one of the rosettes that I purchased from Home Depot. Um, these rosettes were $1.68, I do believe. I don't remember what the knobs were at Target. I, it, it was such a long time ago, I don't remember what the price was. So I wasn't sure if I wanted to go with something like that or if I wanted to go with something like that. Um, I also, ha I'm going to be using these uh, square dolls for the legs. These dolls I got from... Um, Home Depot as well and they were and they were two dollars each and they're 36 inches long so I'm gonna cut these in half that's why I have my miter saw here to cut these uh, these square dolls down to size uh, I'm gonna be using my glue gun and my e6000 because I do want it to be permanent and what else do I have oh and then I have these I wanted to put a decorative um, something decorative on the side. I'll show you when I get to it. I got these at Home Depot a while ago. I do not know how much I paid for them. I, I, it was just something that I had around from another project. And then I also, from Home Depot, got a piece of nautical rope. So this is about, uh, I believe it was a foot. And I had them cut me two pieces because I'm also gonna use one for the second lantern. The first thing I'm going to do is take these wooden dolls and I'm going to cut them down the size using my miter saw. Let's go.
So I've got my wooden dolls that are going to be the sides to my lantern cut. Now I'm going to glue each of these dolls into the corners. I had at one point considered covering up the stars that were here, but I think that would be kind of pretty when you have a candle and, you know, having the glow of the light kind of peek through there, especially if I'm going to be using them outside on my deck in the evening time. I think that would be a pretty idea. I think, I think that's going to be cute. All right, on to gluing. So I'm going to drop some glue right here in the corner. And because I want these to be permanent, I'm going to use the E6000. I'm using a generous amount and again I cut my dolls my square wooden dolls to about 18 inches uh, each I'm gonna add some more glue and now I have the base I like the way that looks. That's looking really good. I like it. So far, so good. So what I'm thinking is that I will do go in here like that. And the reason that I'm putting them on here on the ends is because I thought that this is the way you'd go. And I don't want to block that off because that's what's going to give you access to the inside of the lantern. And then I'll do again the same thing with the other with what's oozing out of the cap. I'm going to add a generous bead on this side too. And I think that the round piece will go better because the knob is round. I think that's why I'm leaning towards the round wooden disc. All right, so this is the front. So I took my nautical rope and I added some uh, duct tape on both ends to keep it from unraveling. And then I wanted something kind of shiny that looked like metal. I don't have any flashing or any like thing like that to use, but I thought I could use some aluminum foil to give me that look as though it's a metal bracket on each end. And then I'll hot glue it on. I'm going to use E6000 and hot glue on these, this as well. In the mornings, out here on my deck is usually where I have my coffee. I have a magnolia tree in my backyard. So for the past week or so, I've been watching my magnolia tree bloom. I think it's beautiful. So just like the previous uh, uh, lantern, I will be using two items from the Dollar Tree for the base and for the top. I will be popping this little piece out like I did on this one uh, so that the candle or florals can fit inside. I will also be removing the back off of this, uh, the picture hanger in just a minute. I got a piece of nautical rope and I got that from Home Depot just like before. I 
you saw me earlier cut the uh, wooden dolls, the square wooden dolls, into 18 inches. So they're going to be relatively the same height, just two different styles. I think that's cute. I kind of like that. Or I could be a rebel about it, as I did before, and do that one. But I'm not feeling that as much as I was on the other one. I, I think I like that much better. So here I'm just going to remove the hanger. I also sanded this a little bit. This will be the top. So I figure it'll take the paint. I could not get the stickers off. These stickers just would not come off. So I sanded them down so that I can put my uh, decorative piece on the top of the lantern. So this is the top and this will be the bottom. But I'm going to pop this out. Hey guys, let's connect on social media on Instagram and Pinterest at Creative Glam One. I'm going to leave additional photos to this video over there. Stop by and check me out and make sure you follow. So I'm going to take these outside now and paint. I'll be right back. So I'm going to make a welcome fall sign using this little picture frame that I got from the Dollar Tree. I know it's a little early and I'm getting a jump on the fall decor, but they have hit the stores and uh, I'm ready. So uh, again, just a little decorative welcome fall sign that I will be using alongside the lanterns. I'm going to take and remove 
the, our adventure fun off the glass and replace the inside with a sign that I like. So I printed out my welcome fall sign, something that I downloaded online, and I've got some nail polish remover and cotton balls. So I'll put that to the side. And I'm just using a light hand to do this because I don't want to scratch up the glass. Okay, so I got the lettering off. As you saw, I scraped it all out, and then I went behind with some nail polish remover, and I went behind that with a wet paper towel. To, uh, got, I got it pretty clean. Not everything is gone, but most of it is. I'm gonna use the back that came out of the picture frame as my template. More than anything, I like the box, and I can change the I can change the um, downloaded print out for whatever season that I want. It's giving me that rustic uh, modern farmhouse look that I like, and it's giving me fall, ushering in a new season. Um, I think I'm ready. I'm not quite ready to let go of summer, but I am welcoming fall. I love the way these DIYs turned out. I'm more than likely going to be using them outdoors. I think my favorite is one of the lanterns. What about you? Which DIY did you like best? Leave me a comment, I'd love to hear from you. I'd also appreciate it if you gave me a thumbs up. But make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell. Hit it twice so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And now that you made it to this point in my video, click one of the video links at the end of this video to see more home decor by Creative Glam. And with that being said, have a blessed day, and I'll see you right back here next time on Creative Glam. Thanks for watching. Bye.